Hello. Oh, hello and good morning. <laughs> Sometimes when I first start my voice. Well, you know. Anyway. Uh da 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 base adventures, but there's no real draw. Um I mean you can basically either play like gear money or you can play with the peddlers. Um which probably lets you also play with artisan. So I don't imagine any of it is like especially compelling. I mean if the AI is kinda clean and plays reasonably well, they probably have a shot. Um, I guess another path you could take, which is probably pretty bad, but might be kind of fun, is to do, like, bureaucrat <laughs> at garden stuff. Um, I don't expect that. Maybe you'd get artificer with that. Get some artificers as a part of that. Like, maybe open, like, bureaucrat gear, try to buy two or three artificers while playing bureaucrat, you know, once a shuffle, and then go into gardens and duchies and stuff. You might get a pretty big deck that way. Um, <clears throat> artisan could play a role in that as well. Um, but you still can't get more than, you know, a couple cards a turn most likely. I mean, you can, you can potentially get more with artificers, but that's spread, spread through your shuffles. You can't actually gain that many cards. Um, which, I mean, if you can get the gardens to four points or something, it's not completely, not really unreasonable. It's just going to be a little hard. Depends a bit on what the AI is doing. Um, 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 you have to imagine the gear money is pretty good. I don't know exactly. I don't know if you put a raise in with that. Or if that's kind of redundant with just having some of the gears. Um, that's not clear to me. Certainly that kind of deck was going to be benefited or is going to benefit from borrow a decent amount. The money deck. I mean, the peddler deck can benefit from it too. It's not exclusive by any means. But. So, the worry about the gear money thing is, of course, is that it plays into what the AI will want to do, and which is just split the provinces and try to get a lead on that. But the artificer thingy would at least have as a recourse probably a pivot to like gardens. Um, if it really needed that. So you would eh, eh, bleh. I'm not I'm not much convinced by any of it, to be perfectly honest. I'm gonna open gear raise. The bot has a five two, which is pretty good here. Um we'll do copper estates. We'll get Well, there's already an estate in there, so we might as well <clears throat> Well, we don't want to do two coppers because we want to buy another gear. Um So they borrow for silver, which is probably actually, I think raise is better, but it's not like, I don't know, hugely better. I like, I'm going to borrow for gold just because the gap between gold and silver is pretty large here. Oh, the AI just sort of, I don't know if this is the move. They just kind of aggressively use the... um. Aggressively use the artificer power. I don't know if that works out. Uh, I don't even know if the gear is in the shuffle. Maybe we we probably need another. We could bonfire, I guess. Um, we probably need another gear more than that. More than a fine, like a. fire at this stage we just kind of want money <clears throat> well the AI does have province there so good for it this is kind of the point where gear money starts to look kind of nice because we'll get to set aside a gear we could have we could have set aside gold instead of copper and borrowed I'm not sure 
which of those is better? Um, to be perfectly honest. But like here we get to set aside silver and copper and there's a gold in there so we know we're like really pretty likely to hit province. As long as we're at this point, we're okay. I don't think they're gonna do like a state. Um, I don't think they're gonna do like a state province at the end or something to like beat us on a single point. That seems pretty unlikely to me. Um. So they may hit province and tie, but that's fine. If we didn't have, if they had, say, still had their estate or an estate, we would have needed to go into duchies. Um, and then we might have been, well, I don't know. Their deck didn't really have, neither deck actually had a whole lot going for it at that point. I was fortunate my gears drew pretty well there. Um, but, yeah, this is about what you kind of want this to look like. It would have been maybe nicer to have... I don't know. This is roughly what you want this deck to look like. All right, we're up to 23. This one could have been a little bit scary, and, and certainly we're benefiting a little bit from, from first player here. That was pretty quick. Maybe we have time to play the... Um, play the... So I think in that deck, I'm going to try and get a lot of artificers and merchants, I suppose. In this deck, I think you want to open with a money lender. Um, it even gives you a shot at hitting six, which is pretty nice. I'm going to get one artisan. Um, this is going to cause some things to miss a shuffle. Maybe I should order this a little differently. Okay. So what we'll do, I mean, it's not... Um, We'll put the money layer on top. It basically just means we don't get to top deck this artificer, which is maybe a little bit sad, but not a huge deal. So, I don't know. This doesn't feel super great to me, but it might be competitive enough. We're not, like, flying through anything here. That was a little bit of an unfortunate... Um, So we could top deck like a merchant. Do I even have a silver? <laughs> I do have a silver, okay. Um, does this hit if I... Eh. Okay. This is like extra money, so that's not ideal. Maybe there was a borrow in there that, or not a borrow, a bonfire in there somewhere that I should have taken. It's worth thinking about at this stage even whether we want to figure out a way to get duchies and gardens, though unfortunately, you know, we're not, very good on the um this this deck is not looking so good to me although i yeah, i don't know we can certainly try to do This feels a little weird, but um, what even is the goal here? 
I mean, we could also have just hoped they miss a province, I guess. What am I going to get? I'm going to get three from this. We can start taking duchies and try to make up the points that way. We have these merchants, which are pretty bad, if I'm being honest. Um... At least they don't seem that good. This is this is also annoying because you. Well, we can tie up here. We just have to. It may be a point to think about taking coppers. You don't really want them on top of the deck, though. Um. Maybe we can get there. These gardens are worth two at least. That's that's something. So now we're gonna just go for increasing the deck size and hope the AI sort of follows in a way that isn't too useful for them or that they never get the last couple provinces. That's not unreasonable. Um We really don't want to trash that much anymore. This gets us double um, gardens. So we're at 26 in deck. They get a province. Okay. I guess if we sort of luck into it and have province here, we win. So that seems a bit unlikely. We can get a copper on top and draw it. Then we would have five, six. So that's not it. At least not yet. Um, it does sort of suck to top tech. We may take... And we're probably just buying... I don't know between gardens and duchy. One advantage that we could have done, we could have gardens on the first artificer play and then drawn it off. That would have been maybe a little nicer, but um, because now we have a top deck gardens. There was also like a point where we could have thought about getting silver. What is the AI's deck size? Not a big. But maybe we take the duchy, even though it's a little easier for the AI to gain it. I was just say they miss gardens, we might have a shot. Oh, we have a points lead, so as long as they um You might as well take a silver, right? We're gonna get either a state and copper or we're gonna can get either way we have to top deck a green card. So we might as well take a silver. I don't think we're going to up our gardens again, so this is just, this is the turn that's scary. Okay, they didn't get there. 
I don't know when they they may up their garden sometime soon. Um, well, we win here if they don't have. Okay. Well, that was an angle that I thought would maybe be valuable for that kind of deck. Just because the AI is kind of bad at finishing off the provinces. They always switch to duchies, um, which is terrible. Anyway, I don't, I didn't really like what I did there, but it was good enough just because the AI doesn't know how to play around all VP. Um, like if you, if you're the AI, your win condition in this situation is to empty the provinces, which means you don't buy duchies, you don't buy gardens, you buy golds or silvers, and maybe probably another gear. Obviously, the hard AI doesn't isn't really trained to do any of that, but that's what the win condition would look like. If you're playing against a deck that starts to pick up gardens and stuff, you're just looking to unless you're unless you're in a better position to like contest on those gains, but you're not. You're just with this point. This deck, you just have province buys, right? So you should get golds over duchies and silvers over duchies and gardens and whatever. So, anyway, um, yeah, so trashy didn't really pan out much here, uh, for me. Maybe different shuffles or different order of buys. Maybe I'm supposed to skip the, the money lender. Um, but it didn't really. I didn't really trash that aggressively, but even if you do, I just don't, I don't know. I can believe it can work, but it didn't look great to me. So uh, anyway, saw, saw a couple playthroughs of this one. And I, my brain is frozen. All right. Thanks for watching. Take care.